So over here, you can see that I have a video imported in, and this is my video for my Premiere Pro tutorial right over here. So now what we can do is in order to get precise controls, we can view the waveform from here, and then we can view the thumbnails and the keyframes as well. So let's go on to the view waveform. So what that does is it enables us to view the audio waveform. But right now, since the video is quite large, it's around like 19 minutes long, you can see that I cannot view the waveform right here. So what I have to do is I have to zoom in as it says. So I can hold control and use the scroll mouse button and you can view the waveform just like this. And then you can use the waveform as a point as a reference point to start cutting out. Let's say for, for, for example, right from here to here, you see the waveform, you can actually cut that out. So you can see that there is a pause right here because the waveform is not there. Another part that you can work with is you can show out the thumbnail. So once you click on it, what happens is that you see the thumbnails. So you see, you, you know what uh, there are in each part of the video. So you can see that right now this is here. So you see that there's the starting of the logo. And over here, you can see that there's something like the file. So you know, like what part has what offerings out right there. Let me just zoom out onto one X right here and you can see the thumbnails accordingly. So right now, over here, you can see that there's different sorts of things available right here, right here as well. So there's a lot of different things that it gives as a visual cue right there. Let me just open out another video for this one. So let me just go on to my videos and go on to my San Francisco video right here. And if I were to see the thumbnail, you can see that right over here, you can see that there's the panning in and over here, there's another one. So that is what you see. And then the other option you have is show keyframe. So what this allows you to do is see the keyframes of the video. That means while encoding, it actually stores a frame which it uh, takes as a reference so that the video is clear from later on. So later the motion information are stored right here. While here, this is the keyframe. So uh, the a high quality frame is stored in this section while in while being encoded in video. So as you enable the keyframe, you're able to see where those main keyframes are. So in order for you to have a quality cut, you can actually choose those particular sections and then cut out as well. And that is how you can utilize the show waveform, the thumbnails and the keyframe options for precise cuts inside of Luxus Cut. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.